Well, when teenagers leave home and go to college, making sure they live somewhere safe is a parent's top priority. That's why the KVU Defenders continues to look at fire safety following this massive fire at the iconic Village Apartments in San Marcos. This summer, five people died in that blaze and more than 200 people were displaced. Investigative reporter Erica Proffer tells us how we can make sure that students are safe. This is Campus Fire Safety Month, so we went to the two largest campuses in our area to see what they do to protect students. Let's start the clock. Keep an eye on that basket by the bed. Notice the smoke yet? Fast forward, not much though. 20 seconds in, flames. Then by a minute, it's on the bed, and in four and a half, the fire could be fatal. Fires grow much faster than what you see on TVs and movies. That's Jeffrey Shapiro is a fire safety engineer and president of the International Code Consultants. And you can literally have just a matter of seconds to make a decision on how to get out in the event of a fire. A government report shows college students are at risk of unnecessary fire deaths especially those living off campus. Cooking is a very common cause of fire, and particularly student housing. Shapiro showed us what to do if food or grease caught fire. Just grab a flat pan, get down low, and put a lid on it. Do you know that? Michael Lobson's new. He studies electrical engineering at UT Austin. My roommate and I talked about a fire safety plan when we got here. While Lobson said he learned fire safety before he got to college, the University of Texas fire prevention staff teaches fire safety to thousands of students a year. Three to 5,000 students learn fire extinguisher basics, how to evacuate a building, and general fire safety. Part of that is requirement to work in labs. Jimmy Johnson is the assistant vice president for campus safety. The university takes a comprehensive approach to fire life safety on campus and not just for our residence halls but certainly for all other academic buildings that we have here on the 40 acres. We asked Johnson about this U.S. Fire Administration report. It shows an average of seven fatal student fires a year and says universities are financial juggernauts for cities and have the ability to affect change. We take a very active role. It's a very strong partnership. UT doesn't recommend any off-campus housing to students. Instead, students can get an apartment hunter's checklist. It includes ask to see a copy of the last fire marshal inspection and check the items on which the property is or is not in compliance. Down the road in San Marcos, 92% of freshmen live on the Texas State campus. But when they do leave, the Department of Housing and Residential Life educates students by offering transition classes. We encourage students to ask questions of the landlords. Dr. Roseanne Proit leads the department. Her staff issues a list of apartments deemed safe for students. Is there a vetting process to get on that list? How does that work? The list is generated through the ACT program. That's a program in cooperation with the city, created to help ease the tension between homeowners and college rental properties. If there have been any outstanding issues with that property as it relates to police, fire, safety, uh, they would not be allowed to participate. But the university doesn't inspect the properties for fire code violations. That would be up to the city. You have to have an emergency plan and you have to know what that is in advance. Don't rely on your student to do that. Make sure that they've paid attention to this. Both UT and Texas State have strict rules for dorm life. UT has sprinklers in all campus housing. Texas State is working to upgrade all dorms. They expect to be finished in the next five years. We have more video examples of fire safety tips online with this story. Log on to KVU.com. For the KVU Defenders, Erica Proffer, KVU News.